Hi, my name is Matt. I'm with uh, United Components. I'm the local rep for ICM Controls here in Syracuse. Today we're at the Upstate Systems Factory Approved Training Lab. Today we're going to be installing a couple of ICM's new and improved controls to protect three-phase equipment. This is their new and improved ICM 450A line phase monitor. We're also going to be installing a surge, three-phase surge protector, ICM 530. Some of the upgrades over the previous model are it is now a true RMS sensing product. It has 50 fault codes memory. They put quarter inch spade terminals on the unit now instead of the screw terminals. It's got a backlit display so you can easily see it. Includes English and Spanish. And lastly, nice thin profile. So I'm gonna go ahead now and install this on this 10 ton rooftop. All we need is a clear space to put it. I have to put some pigtails on it, a couple screws. Keep in mind safety first, so you wanna make sure you turn the disconnect off to the power source for your unit. You wanna find a big enough area to set this in comfortable. Get your hands out of the way. Easy to work on, easy to see. The unit does come with self-tapping screws to make it easier to go through the sheet metal. Now that our unit is mounted, we can go ahead and wire it. Connect our wires to L1, L2, L3 terminal here in the unit. This is your incoming, we're on the back side of that. So we went ahead and connected your L1, L2, L3 terminals to the wire that runs down to our in incoming terminal there. Just wanna secure your wires, get them out of the way. Nice little zip tie. So after we got our control wired, we can go ahead and turn the power on. So first we're gonna read the voltage. This is actually a sensing voltage, so it says 210 volts. So we're gonna go through the setup. This, the first one is you're telling the unit what voltage you do have. So we're gonna change that to what it said on the previous screen, 210 volts. Delay on break is just your timer, how long it locks out. Leave that at 15 seconds. Delay on fault, 15 seconds. Next is your overvoltage. This is where, just as the same as the previous model, this is fully programmable and customizable. I'm gonna get that. We're just taking this one down to 10% so we can see how, just show you how programmable it is. Under voltage, same idea. You can adjust the percentage of under voltage is allowed for it. The unit protects itself. Next is your phase on balance. Uh, so that's a 10% as it's monitoring the, the difference between the three different lines as to what's an allowable uh, you know, out, of, out of range. So we'll get that to about 5%. The control mode, this is selectable to on or off. Um, if you select it to on, these two terminals become active. This is where you can select English or Spanish for the menu. And that's it. We've finished setting up our ICM 450A. Uh, one of the additional benefits of this product is it'll, it has the ability to monitor the load side of a contactor. You want to protect a motor, you want to protect a compressor, this will do it. So all we have left to do is connect our wires from the load side protection of our 450A to the load side of one of our contactors. Number one, you're going to want to make sure that your power is off. And you just run your leads up to T1, T2, and T3. At this point, if your phasing is off from your load, the unit will tell you. So the last thing we have to do is take the power off of your transformer, connect it to the common side of the 450A, take a jumper wire from the normally open terminal Connect it back to the 24 volts on the transformer. 
So now our unit is completely protected against phase loss, over and under voltage, any line voltage issues we might have uh, from the power grid. So we're gonna go ahead next and install the three phase surge protector for the 208, 230 power. So we all protect our TVs and computers at home. This is the same idea just to help protect this expensive piece of equipment. So let's get started. So we just wanna carefully feed our wires through that hole. Now the box comes with a gasket for the outside and a retaining nut for the inside. So when you're done, you just wanna make sure it's nice and tight. So now that we got our surge protector mount on the outside of our equipment, we can go ahead and wire it. I just wanna say a few things about the 530 series. This one is the 208, 230 volt three phase. They have a 480 volt three phase, 600 volt three phase, and also a 208, 230 delta high lake. So for the ICM 530, it needs a ground or neutral, but in this case, there's no room for where the neutral slash ground is, so it's just grounded to the unit, so we just screwed it to the chassis. Phase does not matter for this surge protector. So now that we're wired up, we're gonna go ahead and turn the power back on. Now that we got our power back on, you wanna make sure everything turns back on. We got our phase monitor on, and we have the green light indicating that this is ready to protect your equipment. So now our unit is completely protected against power surges and voltage anomalies. You can check out our full line of single phase and three phase power protection products at icmcontrols.com.